Hello, and welcome to another eBay auction. Today up for grabs is a 95 Mustang GT convertible. About 6,000 or so were produced for this year. And I'm gonna walk around the car, and I'm gonna point out some flaws and let you know what you're getting because if you're buying far away, just wanna be transparent. So from what I understand, this color is probably not super rare, but it cuts down the production numbers pretty good. So 6,000 convertibles for this year, GT convertibles, and I don't know, let's say half of that are this color. So this is a 95, runs good, shifts good, it's an automatic. It looks like mostly original paint, if not all, and some of the clear coat is hazing over here some nicks and scratches and some dings. The back deck lid is, is probably the worst part of it. It's got dual exhaust, which they all did, the GTs. You'll see the SVT on here, and I don't, I think maybe the previous owner had added that. And it needs a reflector here, and some scuffing around the bumper. The reason why I have this on eBay and the reason why I'm talking to you about it is it's a Mustang. These cars are good for shows, good for cruising, and this is so cheap and I haven't decided if I'm just going to put it out for a cheap price or just bid with no reserve. I'm able to buy them cheap and I sell them cheap. The great part about these, it's still the 5 liter engine and I'll show you that. The interior was redone because there's no way those seats are original. Um, like vinyl leatherette, two-tone black and gray, both front and rear. Door panels are original, and you can see here splitting. But all these things I'm telling you and showing you, some cracking, are all easy replacements, and you can really make this thing pop. Carpet is eh, no rips, but just you know, original. The odometer reads 194. Uh, the actual odometer does not um, turn your miles. The speedometer works, but the odometer doesn't work. The convertible top is good, and you'll see that in the pictures. And it operates. I had to put a new piston on the uh, passenger side. I'll show you the engine. And then we're going to go out for a ride. a 5 liter probably like 235 240 horse real clean no taps no knocks no smoke air condition works sorry I have a cigar in my mouth looks like it was just tuned up I drove it I would say Probably 50 miles or so. I'm actually going to take my son out tonight, and it's his birthday. So let's get in. Oh, the driver's power seat does not go back and forth. You hear the motor running, but you don't hear, I mean, you don't feel it go back and forth. It goes up and down. So I'm 6'2, and I can fit in it pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out for a ride. It's got an aftermarket radio that does not sound good. It sounds like one or two speakers is working. Air condition works. Not that you can feel that, but I'm telling you it's cold. Console. It needs an ashtray. This is kind of loose and this does not stick up here. The lighter thing it does not smell like smoke or anything. So, all right. So let's let's go out for a ride. The throttle's very responsive, and the car still has a little bit of balls to it. it shifts good. It's quiet. 
mufflers aren't loud, the notches. So we'll go out for a little cruise. Just show you, I want to show you that the car runs and dries good. down this road here so we can open it up a little bit. Okay, here's a Mustang convertible. How you doing? You can hear it. Shifting good. Motor sounds good. Overdrive. Lighting overdrive. No rattles or shakes. Until you put the top up, people that own convertibles know that the tops are you know squeaky and a little rattly but you know we're going 40 miles an hour 45 miles an hour we're in overdrive we're at not even 1100 rpm so that's what's good about these cars is you can drive them to shows you can drive them every day and with that five liter motor there's so much that you can do to that engine for so little there's so many after part uh, aftermarket parts for it you can hear the motor Still has it. No smoke. Really runs good. Convertible top, like I said, is in good condition. You'll see the um, the pictures. Um, it uh, looks good. It operates good. I don't know if it's the original top or not, but a car like this, maybe you put a white top on it, it really makes it pop. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you this and just take you out on a ride. The temperature is well below normal. Or actually in the normal, I'm sorry. Normal. But doesn't overheat. Just a really nice driving car. And once once these cars came into the, the 80s, you know, they became everyday drivers. Good gas mileage in the 20s. The tires are, are decent, the back two are fairly new. The front two are okay, the edges are worn a little bit, uh, but you can get by for a couple thousand miles or, you know, put different tires on them, different wheels. Just a real nice experience to drive a convertible. So I don't want to pull into a parking lot over here, so I'm not boring you to death. get out. I'll just walk around it with it idling. Oh, this back window here does not go down. You hear the motor running, but it doesn't go down. The rest operate. Motor's quiet. Really quiet. Just a really nice car. And for under three grand, or highest bid, or whatever, dual exhaust. Don't forget, not the SVT, I don't think. Let's see if you can get the uh, VIN number in here. Right, probably not, but the VIN number will be on the ad. Clear title. And if you're buying out of New Jersey, these cars don't have to be inspected anymore. see is what you get Mustang GT for under three grand and it's a convertible you know what they say top goes down price goes up so have fun thank you any questions give me a call my numbers on the ad thank you